Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for the 5% series for game week 3. This is where we look at a small number of popular players and discuss which ones might be worth having. And if you only choose from this pool, then you should do all right. Hopefully finish top 5% globally, which means you'll do all right in your mini leagues. You absolutely cannot win the whole thing just picking these players, but you'll do all right. And it hopefully takes very little effort to do. Now, I have been asked to do a wildcard for this week, put together some sample teams, and I did spend some time looking at it, but I've decided, because I ran out of time partly, I'm not going to do it this week, but maybe next week, when we've got the international break, I'll try and put something together. All right, now, now let's look at what happened in game week two and what I think of the players for game week three. So the scores for game week two, starting with the keeper, the two expensive keepers, they did well. Ariola did well, the rest did nothing. Regarding the expensive defenders, most of them got a clean sheet, so that's some nice points. The cheaper defenders did nothing, but I guess you get what you pay for. For the expensive midfielders, look at that. Palmer 17, Sun 16, Salah 10, Saka 10, Jota 6. So several of them did quite nicely. The cheaper midfielders, Gordon got 10, Smithrow 10, Bowen 8, the rest nothing. For the expensive forwards, Haaland 17. The rest nothing. The cheaper forwards, Gel Pedro 8, and the rest nothing. Now for this upcoming game week, game week 3, what do we think of the players? Now Reyes, two clean cheats so far, very good. He's got a nice fixture this week at home to Brighton, reasonable chance of a clean sheet. But then away to Spurs and away to Man City, he's probably not going to get a clean sheet in either of those, I think. So I wouldn't go buying him now, but if you've got him, he's an absolutely good player to keep hold of. Becker is away to United this week, but after that, he's got some nice fixtures, so they're both good. If you're wildcarding this week, one of these would probably be my choice. I would probably choose Raya, but you don't have to wildcard this week. So Martinez is a good player because the fixtures coming up, Leicester, Everton, Wolves, Ipswich, they are very nice, so he could well be getting some good clean sheets. So if you've got, for example, Pickford, there he is, and you've had enough of him, and you think he's a liability, you could switch him for Martinez. Now, Everton have a habit of starting the season poorly, and after a few game weeks, they start being good. And at the end of the season, they do really well, because they're trying to avoid relegation. So Pickford may keep a clean sheet at home to Bournemouth. If I had Pickford, I wouldn't be desperate to sell him. But if you want to go to Martinez, that's fine. Apart from that, the other keepers, they're all right. And Ward is just bench fodder. He's not going to play. For the expensive defenders, Trent still very good. A weight United this week, but United defensively haven't been very good. And he has a fair bit of attacking potential. And after that, he's got some nice fixtures. So he's a good player. The Arsenal defenders, they have good fixture this week. Then two more difficult fixtures. If I've got them, I'd be absolutely not selling them. If I was bringing a defender in, possibly bring them in, knowing that the next two game weeks are going to be more tough for them. Guardiola, possibly not worth six million if he keeps playing very defensively. Last season, he kept running forward, getting assists. We need to see what happens with him. Gabriel, another Arsenal defender. So Trippier, the transfer window closes Friday this week. After that, we know where Trippier is going to end up. So it may be next week Trippier is going to be worth having. He is playing tonight in the EFL Cup. For now, absolutely don't buy him. He's sellable if you want to move him on to somebody else, if you haven't bought him beforehand. Uh, but he's in here because initially he was popular. Virgil van Dijk, perfectly good defender. Pedro Porro is good. Away to Newcastle this week, then at home to Arsenal. Those are two nasty fixtures. Home to Brentford's right, then he's away to Man United. So I suspect some people may be offloading him just now. If I had Porro, I'd be perfectly happy keeping him. The cheaper defenders. So Robinson's a new player in the system because he's become popular. Fulham have some nice fixtures coming up. He's quite an attacking player. He's only 4.6. He's worth having. Concert, Aston Villa also have some very nice fixtures. Leicester, Everton, Wolves, Ipswich. Could get four clean sheets there. Might only get two, who knows. But at 4.5, he's all right if you want to free up some money. So Anderson, he's risky sellable now. He started the season at Palace and he was kind of all right for 4.5. He's now gone to Fulham. 
If you want a Fulham defender, you get Robinson. Currently 0.1 more, but Robinson's much more attacking. I suspect Anderson's ownership is going to be going down the next week or two, and then he may drop out the system. Burns all right, but I'm not convinced. I don't think anyone knows what the Newcastle preferred back four is at the moment. So he's all right. Is he still going to be around another four, five, six weeks? Who knows? Everton, Mikolenko. Everton been very disappointing, but he's only 4.4. You get what you pay for. Faust is a new player in the system because he scored at the weekend and he's very cheap. If you want to buy him, that's fine. He may not score again this season. A couple of seasons ago, he did score twice in the same game, but that was two own goals. But he's cheap. If you want somebody cheap on your bench, 4.1, he's fine. And then Harwood Bellis, 4 million bench fodder. For the expensive midfielders, Salah is very good. He can score against anyone, so don't let the fixtures worry you of him. Palmer's good, and Chelsea are coming up to a very nice fixture run. Saka is good, home to Brighton this week. Sun is good, but I've not made him green because he's probably going to be moving back to midfield if Richarlison's playing this week. Otherwise, Solanke may be back. We don't know at the moment. Away to Newcastle. Newcastle are having defensive problems. So if you've got him, he's fine to be keeping. If you're making transfers or you're playing a wild card, personally, I wouldn't be getting Sun in now. Foden, so he's missed the two games so far. He was ill last weekend, so I suspect even if he's fit this game week, away to West Ham, I doubt he would get 90 minutes. But if he gets a fair amount of minutes there next week at home to Brentford, he may be a green player. Odegaard, he was borderline orange, you know, sellable, but I, I think he's all right and he's, he's home to Brighton. Maybe after this game week, we'd be saying you might want to move him on. Fernandez. He's still all right. I'm still keeping him as white. Diego Jota, all the time he's playing as Liverpool striker, he's worth having. For the cheaper midfielders, Gordon, at time recording, we don't know for sure what's happening regarding any transfers for him. At the time recording, he is still a Newcastle player. If he stays a Newcastle player, he's going to be a good player to have. Bowen's good player, seems to score maybe every three or four weeks. He's all right. As a should be all right, and Palace away to Chelsea this week, maybe not so good, then home to Leicester, then home to Man United, then away to Everton. He could well get three or four returns in the next few weeks. He's had lots of shots and chances the first two game weeks, and he's not managed to deliver. So he should be a good player, but he's not quite good enough to be green. Garnacho, so he's not been getting many minutes at the moment. When he starts starting for Man United, he's probably going to be a good player, very good to have. You don't need to panic, get rid of him. If you've not got him, I'd say don't bring him in, but he's all right to have. And Kunku's not been starting. He's not been getting many minutes. He's already dropped in value. Chelsea have got lots of attacking players. Maybe in a few weeks' time, we'll know who the first choice 11 is. At the moment, he's a bit dodgy. If you want to sell him, that's all right. You don't have to sell him there. But Smith Rowe in the immediate future is probably a better punt than Nkunku. Four nice fixtures. He's attacking and he seems to be nailed on. Rogers, there's been a lot of hype about Rogers. He's very popular at the moment. Villa do have some nice fixtures. But he's cheap. For 5.1 million, he may be the best 5.1, 5 million midfielder. That's probably true. But there are some other Aston Villa players who should get more points than him. But if you want a cheapish midfielder who's going to be all right ish, Rogers is okay. And then Winks, bench fodder. For the expensive forwards, Haaland good anywhere. Watkins, Aston Villa coming up to some good fixtures, so he should be a good player. Isaac has been a bit disappointing, but home to Tottenham, then he's got Wolves and Fulham. Reasonable chance of return then. If he's still not getting good points, then it might be he's going to be sellable. Havertz, still a good player. Home to Brighton this week. Solanke's injured, so I wouldn't be buying him. You could sell him if you want to, but he may be playing this game week. We, at time recording, don't know. But generally, when he's fit, I think he's going to be a good player to have. For the cheaper forwards, Tony, time recording, we don't know where he's going to be, if he's even going to be in the Premiership, so don't buy him yet. If, when you're picking your team, the news is broken and he is staying at Brentford, for example, then I'd say he's a buy, he's worth having. Munez, Fulham got some nice fixtures, only £6 million, he's a good player. Wood, 
Going forward, there may be doubts about his minutes, but at the moment, if you've got him, he's fine. Home to Wolves has a chance of a return there. Jao Pedro, after this game week, Brighton have got some nice fixtures. Home to Ipswich, home to Nottingham Forest. He's only 5.5, so if you want to free up some cash, there's a good place to go in Pedro. And then finally, Cannon, that could be only 4.5 million forward, really. He's just bench forward, may never play. So we're now going to look at the bench order. The first keeper I show you that you've got is the keeper I suggest you put on your bench. So if you've got Ward, he's on your bench. After that, next choice would be Ariola, Henderson, Martinez, Pickford, Flecken, Becker, and then Rea. And we're now going to look at the rest of the players in the system, apart from the six captaincy choices. This is my suggested benching order. You do whatever you like. The first player you see that you've got, I suggest is position three on your bench, the next one position two, and the last one position one. We got Cannon, we got Face, who I realise I've got the wrong image for. That's Winks there. Sorry about that. I'll try and fix it for next week. Howard Bellis, Anderson, there's Winks. Burn, Konza, Nkunku, Mikolenko, Garnacho, Trippier, Bowen, Rogers, Wood, Robinson, Tony, Solanke. So some of these are potentially dodgy with minutes like Solanke, Tony, Trippier. But if they play, they're worth having. So we kind of hope they either get 70, 80 minutes or no minutes. What we don't want is for them to come on for a few minutes. Then it's Cavadio, Virgil van Dijk, Jao Pedro, Pedro Porro, Eze, Smithrow, Munez, Fernandez, Foden, White, Gabriel, Saliba, Odegaard, Gordon, Trent, Watkins, Diego Jota and Havertz. For the captaincy choices, I think Haaland is probably the safest captain. He's probably going to be the most captain player. He's got a reasonable chance of being one of the highest scoring players this game week. So he is the safe choice if you've got him. But there are other decent choices. Palmer is probably a good shout. Home to Crystal Palace this week. Isaac should be able to get something at home to Tottenham. With Tottenham generally not so good defensively. Saka's always good. He's got an easy home game. Son... Okay, he's away, but they have uh, historically lots of goals in those games. And then Salah can score anywhere. Any of those as your captain's okay. Any as your vice captain, that's okay. If you don't want to be doing two of these, then you could probably pick any of the attacking players that were green in the previous pictures, and that should be all right too. Regarding the background picture, somebody suggested who follows the system to do a rabbit. So that's a cute little rabbit. Wearing the old mule hat with a football. And it's really hard to think what to do for the background pictures. So if you want something in the background picture, obviously nothing too offensive, nothing political, that's for sure, uh, then drop it in the comments and maybe I'll do it one week. Hopefully that made sense and was easy enough to follow. And hopefully you're doing all right. If you're doing bad, don't worry about it. As the season goes on, the weeks go by, you should gradually, naturally edge up just because you're picking the popular players. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a nice game week three. Thanks. Bye.